everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I am reviewing here INTC. This was a nice trade actually from Thursday. Here's a good example of something that really wasn't a great gap, but with the right entry, you can still make money in it. It's a combination of things if you wanna make money as a day trader. One, you have to have a strategy that tells you the stock pick what gap to do, the gap is a strategy, and then what direction to play it, you have to find the right pick, and then you have to have the entry. The entry means the price you're gonna take the trade at, whether you're short or go long, and then you have to have the exit. These are all the pieces of the puzzle that you need to make money. Every once in a blue moon, I see a gap that I just see the numbers, and I see that it's gonna have a move, but I know it's not really an amazing gap. It still has to fall within a certain criteria level that I'm looking for, and INTC just happened to do that the other day. This wasn't some fabulous gap, but I caught the right move in it, knew the price of the entry, had everything down in the target, and actually went past and went to the next target, although I got out of it really at the realistic target. <clears throat> so let's just go over here. Stock opened, rallied, nice entry here, dropped into the first level, and then down again, $28. It hit through. It actually went low of the day, ended up being 27.87. I was out of this by then, but this ended up being like almost a five hour trade if you held it all the way down. It was a three and a half hour trade if you got it all the way down in here. So for, for something that really wasn't an amazing gap to be able to get this kind of move in it is, is really something that I excel at doing because I'm really good at reading the one minute chart. This is the one minute chart. This is the one minute chart of INTC. Now, if we go look at this on the day of the actual gap, you can see it here. Stock closed the night before here at 28.74 and a gap down the next day here at 28.38. I don't remember the reason for the gap. I'm not sure if there even was one. I do gaps, bearish gaps. I like to short for many, many reasons, but you can see here how it really wasn't that great of a gap because it opened, dropped, and then flipped. Went over the high, closed green of the day, but this tailing thing is where I got the short and it was a perfect, perfect entry over a three hour trade. And, and I just nailed it. And this is one of the things I do very well. But I will say though that there are many reasons that stocks gap. Regardless of the reason, it has to rate well per the 26 point rating system. And you also have, the, have to have the entry right to get the risk to reward. Otherwise you're just taking pot shots. And I don't trade like that. Something has to have an exact entry, which I had in here, and then the stop. And, and it was really a good one and it was nice and you could have gotten filled in full size in this. It had volume, everything, everything you could have ever asked for and, and it worked. So this was a nice trade from Thursday. Earning season is coming up for the last quarter of this year. I cannot wait. There's going to be tons and tons and tons of beautiful golden gaps that rate 20 points or more and lots of setups like this or even better where they go to the dream targets. I'm looking forward to having a strong finish to the end of 2015. For those of you that have already taken the Golden Gap course, it's going to be a good last quarter. And for anyone that is interested in the Golden Gap class, the next class is October 17th and 18th. So feel free to email me if you would like to sign up at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone.